so you can see we're into a bit of a project here the wiring needs sorting out um, it wasn't dangerous but it wasn't good either so with the help of a good friend we are going through this because we're replacing the ECU we're getting rid of where is it down there getting rid of the nodes we are going to another nodes but it's a Gen X which I run on the Mark II and it's a lot better so yeah I'm um, going to go through all of this nothing too scary we just want it correct we need a new grommet because that one's knackered um, going to put some new fuses in it because a lot of the Mark 1 loom isn't fused so yeah just got to go through it a bit and do a better job and we'll see where we are from there Mark 1 Escort update we're going through all the wiring cutting out all the bad wiring I've done some already behind here and putting some new stuff in there's a lot of stuff that's not really standard but at least it's got fuses in which is good news and we're going to run a couple of feeds for the fuel pump again and for the new ECU that's going in and just make sure it's all safe so I'll try and document it as I go um, like I say we've got some wiring that uh, needs to be taken out the gauge is fine on that there's nothing wrong with that wire I think that is a uh, possibly a positive feed or a switched down there we've got off a wide band which I probably won't be running on this car it's not going to be on the track we've got some other bits of loom here which go off to the back of the car but then I've got quite a bit of unused wire in here which I need to figure out what it is probably just cut it out so yeah um, trying to get it all sorted rolling roaded before it goes off for paint and then at least that's something else that uh, is out of the way. Don't know if I'm going to take the engine out or whether it's required for me to take the engine out because it was only going to be an exterior paint anyway. But there's quite a bit to, to do if you look at my previous video on this car. It's uh, it's solid but it's uh, tatty. So yeah, anyway, keep you posted. We don't have to think about it, we um, do anything to calibrate it or anything or not. No, I don't just... believe so. I mean, even so, it should still count, even if it's... Yeah, uh, yeah. It should crank. Mm. Definitely plugged in down there, aren't we? Yeah. <coughs> do we have to do anything with the wiring with it being an aftermarket train? No, doesn't check on that, but it, well, it used to run. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> it's just literally a 36 dash one, so. Oh, is that? Ah, oh. Ah, maybe it wasn't 
Ah. Right then. <laughs> yeah, okay. Didn't try. Didn't get any RPM or uh, sync No, that's didn't. true. Didn't get any RPM, but we got high RQ. So let's go back to what did you find there? It was TCU. It was a uh, trigger screen. It's quite a thing in this time. Move me video. If this number does not increase and you'll have a wiring or sensor fault, which it does, we get these increasing fields and crank, hopefully we'll have a solid RPM. If not, first track you have the correct track which we have, then try changing the crank from rising to falling. Right, okay. So, um, we'll start. Um, so, maybe. Yeah, change that to falling. Fall yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. All we need to do is read the manual. Okay, so that's good. We've got RPM, we've got sync. Yeah. Hang on, let me see. So, yeah. So, yeah, that is just literally every two k Yeah. So, that, right, so it wasn't plugged in properly, and we've got the uh, crank trigger edge here. Okay, good. So, if we hit the fuel pump, which it should run. Okay. Turn that up. Do you want me to isolate it or are we just going to wire the fuel pump? Should we switch it? Fairly good. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, that's good. Fairly uneventful, really, apart from getting that crack trigger the wrong. Well, we didn't. It was set wrong. It was, yeah, I don't, I don't know. Yeah. 
Once we've got all this done, she'll be off to my mechanics. Yeah. Get that fuel set up, get 3D mapped. Boom. Success! Okay, we're all done. What we've done is we've put these switches and whatnot on multi plugs, which control fuel pump and bits and pieces, interior light, and we've multi plugged them in case the seven needs come out. ECU's nicely hidden away, so everything's now interior wise is back in. Looking good. Main drive for the ECU. Seems to seems to like even on base map this is.